We're recording Packet Tracer. We'll be exploring the Cisco IOS CLI. Um, we're going to explore sh command shortcuts, learn about errors, detection features, and using command history. So first we will go to the terminal to access the 18441 customer router. To do that we need to go to the PC. We'll go up to the de go in the desktop and we'll go to the terminal. Everything looks like it's set up for us here. I'll press enter to start up and it'll pop up their router customer router. <clears throat> right now this customer router at the bottom indicates that uh, you are in the user Excel mode. Okay, at the router command, we'll type the question mark. And that gives us a brief description of the of the help that is available in this display. Okay. Now we're going to type E, another question, and it shows us enable and exit. And we're going to type EN with the question. And it did it again to me. And E N, and then we'll put a question on there, and then it shows that that command is for enable. Now, if we type in enable, then we press enter. Now we are in the privilege Excel mode. And now I'm going to show you short uh, shortcut commands. If you type letters that are unique to a command then press the tab key the CLI automatically spells out the com complete command. Type C after the customer router. Okay, we'll type C. Not two C, just one. Press, uh, press the tab button, tab key because C. Okay, so we'll t type this. Because C by itself is not unique to just one command, nothing happens. Now add O and F to the C. So we'll type O and F to the C and press the tab key. And voila, there's config. Because the now this works because the sequence of letters is unique to configure command. The CLI automatically completes the command entry. Now type question after config. Configure. Okay, so okay, it says terminal configure from the terminal uh, with CR in parentheses. Okay, the the CR at the end of the output indicates that there are no other parameters that can be added to the configure command in this mode. In this example, the CLI shows that you can use the terminal with the configure commands 
with the configure command configure terminal okay now we're gonna go on and explore uh, errors error detection features at the customer router prompt pound prompt type in CON so I'm gonna go back here and just type in CON okay <coughs> the output comes out anguish command con indicates that this is incomplete command that's what it's supposed to do because it's not a right command at the router com command prompt enter com configure terminal and they spell terminal wrong okay so I'm going to type in what they what we have here and then I'll write type in terminal wrong and then press the enter button now the with the spelling error the Cisco ISO does not recognize the command and indicates an error with the marker now that tells you that it's incomplete so you need to go back and check your your spelling and if you don't want to retype everything over and over and over we have another feature here at previously used commands are stored in history buffer to recall the last command enter or press uh, control P the command appears at the router command prompt so we go control P there's the last one we used and then we can just go back here and change it if we need to and then we also have control N to go up and uh, to go up and control P if I go press it again, control P goes back to the other commands I've done. Now if I can go control N goes forward. Cycles through them all. And we also got the up and down that works as well. Just the arrow buttons. And I'm going to now if we want to view the last 10 commands entered, we type in show history and press enter. And those are the last, up to the last 10. I've only used 5, so, or 4, so that's what they put on there, is 4. And that comes to the end of my little presentation here. Thank you for watching.